Back in Houston for Southland Conference Basketball Media Day and joining us at the desk is Southland Conference Commissioner Tom Burnett and not just Commissioner these days but now entering your second year on the Men's Selection Committee. Uh, we'll have a chance to elaborate that on a little bit but a little bit of a bookend here. We begin here in Houston and soon enough we'll be just down Interstate 10 in March for our 12th year to crown a champion in Katy. Yeah, hard to believe 12 years and it's been a great run. That event has really grown over the uh, period of time and I believe it's it's really given this conference a great Division I college basketball experience at the end of the year. It's allowed us to televise uh, more games, as you know, and uh, it's just been a great experience for student athletes, for coaches, for fans. The building's fantastic, and City of Katy keeps growing and providing more opportunities for things to do uh, when you come to the tournament. So many memorable moments over the years at the Merrill Center. Of course, last year it was SFA returning to the NCAA tournament. We talked about last year you had the honor of serving your first year uh, juggling, really, watching games and keeping track of things as part of the selection committee. Uh, but I know when you see the South and you have to take a lot of pride that these teams continue to improve and the enthusiasm surrounding these programs as well. Yeah, absolutely, Lincoln. And I think part of my uh, role with the NCAA Basketball Committee, or maybe the reason why I, I was selected to, to serve, is because our teams have done so well uh, in the postseason in recent years. Certainly the SFA uh, victories in the NCAA tournament, but in the other tournaments as well. You know, last year we had seven men's basketball teams make it to postseason play. That was an all-time record. We had four women's teams, so things have really been looking up. Great, great group of coaches, administrators interested in the sport, its success, and I think that's going to continue. Of course, uh, earlier this year they did announce some upcoming hosts for the Final Four. We saw San Antonio and Houston will fall on those upcoming schedules. And for the Southland, that means a little additional involvement. Incarnate Word in San Antonio, HBU and Houston will contribute as co-hosts when those respective years come around. Yeah, well, uh, both men's and women's uh, Final Fours are coming to San Antonio. The men's Final Four is coming here to Houston, but we're really excited for UIW and San Antonio and HBU. Certainly here in Houston, uh, they're going to have a chance to be an institutional co-host. They're going to be involved with all the behind-the-scenes work, uh, a lot of manpower involved. Uh, but it's a great experience, and, and I'm really proud to have our schools associated with these events. Well, and these schools continue to show their commitment, and that includes most recently the construction over in Lake Charles on campus, brand new, beautiful facility. Yeah, a, gr a great new arena at, at McNeese. I had a chance to take a hard hat tour earlier in the summer. Can't wait to get there on the 16th of November to see it open. Um, the first, actually, the first uh, new on-campus arena in this conference in over 30 years. So we're really excited. We think it's really going to change the dynamic for fans, for those two programs, certainly at McNeese, and uh, couldn't be more excited. And that's just another sign of progress and improvement in basketball. I know we're really trying to focus on this upcoming year, but there was some news about next season, a new 20-game schedule within conference play. Yeah, we made some decisions back in the spring after talking with our coaches, our athletic directors, uh, we are going to go to a 20-game schedule. Uh, we're at 18 now, so 20 games in the future for men and women. So we're going to play that much more, and it's going to require some conference games in December. Uh, further, uh, we're, we're going to change how we schedule outside of the conference. Uh, we're really not going to let teams schedule those uh, RPI, or in the case of the men, the new net ratings for the NCAA teams that are 300 or, or, or or below, so to speak. So uh, a lot of changes coming, uh, part of a strategic plan by administrators and such uh, to, to make improvements in this sport and, and, and perhaps uh, put us even in a, in a better position in the future. Well, it is the last month that the Burnett household does not have every TV tuned to basketball.